There are many examples of one-to-one -one entity relationship. Uh, like a person can only have one driving license. So you have person entity and you have driving license, but they should only have one record for each person. Second could be a student having one admit card. They can only have one. Uh, third could be e-commerce site where each product at any time, given time, should only have one discount running. Okay. Now, if you see it, it's usually used where you want to extend an entity for a different concept, but you don't want to have multiple. So let's see in this video how we can create one-to-one -one relationships in our systems. So this is my service studio. I'm inside a reactive web application where I have an entity called product and I've also bootstrapped this with some sample data. What I will do is use the last example, the e-commerce one where you have the product. Imagine this is the back office where sellers come to add their discounts to the product. I don't want to modify the original table because product might be referred to at other places as well. I don't want to add those things here, but I want to create another entity where I can have discounts. And discount can have things like maybe percent, percent can be decimal as discounts usually are. And it could have two you know, from date plus and then to date, to date. Now the requirement is we must make sure that discounts are against each product but only one record for each product okay so for that we're going to use entity diagram here where let's bring both tables both entities here and if you notice uh, the connector although is available here but every time you drag it to the other table it creates one-to-many or man to one kind of relationships so to make it one-to-one -one, the trick is to expand the destination table like in this case discount select the identifier by default it will be long integer if you expand this you are able to change the identifier to become a product identifier. So if you scroll it down here, you have to choose product identifier. Okay, now you'll see one-to-one -one relationship is established. What we have done, just to summarize, is we're using the products tables identifier as the identifier for our discount table, which means every time it's unique. So you can only have one particular uh, discount for any given product. With this, let's go ahead and implement the screens. That's also a part that you might be interested in knowing. So if I drag and drop the product table here, platform does the usual of creating the listing and detail screen. There you go. And uh, what probably I can do is work on product detail screen to show you how it works. So here you'll see uh, the product form is there, which is corresponding to all these attributes. We have them here as well. Now, if you want to add uh, fields for discount as well, maybe you can just drag and drop so since there's one-to-one -one relationship and we've already told platform, the platform understands these things. I'll show you what I mean. So as of now, if I go to product detail page, you'll see the get product by ID query. It's only bringing the product entity here. But the moment I drag and drop the percent maybe. Okay, let's go back and take a look at that. Now I also have discount there. So platform is trying to give me heads up by bringing additional query, additional tables into it, which have additional relationship with this query. So I'll go ahead and uh, drag and drop from date and to date as well. Okay, so anybody now besides editing or creating a new product, if they want to add a discount, they can do so here and they can only do it once. Next thing is saving this also. So as of now, by default here, the product is created. We need to use the assignment operator to assign the value to that foreign key. I mean, that ID is still is a foreign key. What I mean is this here, is still a foreign key from this table, right? So we have to supply it a value, which you're going to supply by using the assignment operator. We will say the value of the ID field here is the ID of the product, which is just now created here on this step before, okay? Which platform gives me suggestions also, so very useful. And then rest can be uh, using the standard create or update, uh, you know, functions here. And if I expand, I can use the discount part of the query. And there you go. Let's go ahead and publish it. For sure, you can modify and beautify the screen, maybe show a pop up or something. But relationship wise in the back end, it's something like that. So almost ready. Let's launch it. Let me give it a refresh. The bootstrap is running. So now I have products. If I open any of the current products, I can see the product uh, information coming from product entity. And since we just added the discount table, by default it's empty, but we can add discounts. So somewhere here, 
maybe 10% discount starting from uh, weekend sale. How about a weekend sale? So from 15th to uh, 16th and we save it. Okay, I think I created on this product. So if I click on this, I can make sure that this is getting saved. If you want to see from database side also, uh, Awesome has this cool feature where you can view data, at least in developer environment. So if you open, uh, right click on discount table, you can view already data and you can see how that one record got created. And you can see here for reference, the ID is coming from the product table as a foreign key and that's the information here. So that's how you implement one-to-one -one relationship in our systems. Thanks for watching.